Okay, here we are, module one, section four. So the lesson this time is about using hands for the spirit drum. And there's lots of different ways to approach this, and I'll show you some ways to make a really nice clean sound. First of all, if you're wearing any rings, take them off. It's fine to wear a ring when you're playing with the mallet, but you don't want to wear rings. You don't want to damage the drum, but you also don't want to damage your fingers in case you accidentally hit where you're not meant to. Where you're meant to hit is the pads of your fingers. That's the best place to make a sound. And it has a whipping motion. So if you recall when we were holding the mallets, it was one long line from the elbow to the wrist. Here now we're going to use the wrists in a very relaxed way so that the rebound happens from the wrist and it's a bounce from the wrist so you can go like this and just shake out your wrists and when you get that sense of that motion of that relaxed wrist you can begin just by lifting from the elbow and let the hand land on the pad of either the index finger I know I have a preference myself to use the index finger, but you might find it more comfortable to use the middle finger and feel like that's stronger for you to get a sound. And something to just show you something you want to play with, but we won't be really practicing this, is you can also use the edge of your thumb with a very different whipping motion. So it's almost like turning the handle of a door. It's this kind of motion instead of this kind of motion. And you can just whip the hand and let it rebound from the side. But you know, you may find that comfortable, but you might also find that a little painful on the knuckle. So the other way I know is comfortable for sure because it's just the pad of your finger. So we're gonna try this in the practice video. Let's practice. <laughs> 